Here's how to get the most out of your IPVM membership. IPVM has over 9,000 members from 110 countries. It's based on the internet and people just find IPVM and sign up from around the world. Uh, it's been pretty amazing. We've been pretty uh, happy and proud about that. And IPVM does this because we're an encyclopedia of security information. We have over 3,000 articles, uh, over 2,000 discussions, incredibly more than 35,000 comments, and that's just uh, since the um, less than two years ago when we started the, our own internal discussions. And we have nearly 300 tests, and those are original tests uh, we do in-house in our own lab. Um, we spend usually 40, 50, 100 hours per test uh, making sure that the results are accurate and in-depth. Uh, how big is IPVM? Well, if you think about it, if you printed out IPVM, it would be more than 12,000 pages, and you'd have 48 volumes or books of information. So it's fairly massive, and it would be really hard uh, to read it all yourself. So it's really important to understand there's a ton of things uh, inside the website. We strongly recommend that you use our site search, whether you're looking for a manufacturer or a topic or you want to know more about solar or cable connectors or elevators, whatever it might be. Um, our site search, uh, we use our own internally developed search engine uh, to optimize the results. Um, you can immediately get back sort of the drop down feedback. You can search anywhere uh, on the site on the upper right hand corner of each page. And you can either pick your result immediately, or you can go to the advanced site search by pressing return. And now you have to see a number of options here that you can either sort by uh, what's newest. Also, you can go by category. So for instance, if all you want to get is other people's opinions about something, just look for discussions, right, where people are talking about. If you just want to have our test results, just filter it down to do tests only. And then as another advanced option, you can search uh, by author as well. Uh, so if you know a specific author, IPVM uh, researcher that you want to follow, you can see what their opinion or take is on a subject. In addition to that, we've got a lot of new uh, information posted each week. So we've got at least 10 new articles each week. We tend to run most of them Monday through Friday uh, and in the morning time East Coast. In addition, we have 25 new discussions on average per week. And we tend to release two new test reports each week, generally on a Monday and a Wednesday, uh, reflecting new research that we're doing. One great way to stay informed is to use Twitter. Um, and we have our own Twitter account, which is uh, at IPVideo. Uh, and Twitter has a wealth of information, or at least a wealth of news or updates from manufacturers, industry people, etc. Uh, our stats show that less than half of industry people use Twitter at all, not simply just for IPVM, but at all. Uh, but we strongly recommend that you use Twitter, and we'll show you an example in a little bit. In addition to that, uh, every person has a profile page. And on that profile page, there are a couple of options. If you see these checkboxes over here uh, for getting email updates for IPVM, we'll show you that a little bit more. The other element you take a look at is that you can also display your website URL. So if you're commenting on IPVM and want to let other people know who your company is, uh, you can enter in your own website, and you can click to display in a link to your URL when you comment. We have our own custom uh, developed software, which we call the IPVM Spider. What it does is, is that it crawls 150 websites multiple times per week. And that's over 80,000 pages in our database. And we look for new updates on company or industry websites that are important uh, to you. We allow you to set up weekly alerts. Again, this is our own software where you can choose different manufacturers. Say, you know what, I'm interested in getting updates on Crappy Cam or Mega VMS, or as you can see, some of the manufacturers listed here. Uh, and it will send you an alert once a week, Monday morning at 9 a.m., uh, with an update of what new articles, web pages from their site, discussions, etc., are on those companies. In addition, we have a powerful feature called custom alerts. And that means you can freeform, like you know, like a Google alert, you could throw in any term that you want. So VMS, retail, power, POE, whatever, storage, hard drives, whatever you're interested in, you can throw it in here and we'll look for those terms and we'll send you results again each Monday at 9 a.m. Moreover, we have quizzes built in. So you'll see this is on our quiz page. We'll show where this is in a little bit. Uh, you can find it on, on, the member, on, the, on your member page, a link to it. Uh, we've got a number of quizzes and you can quiz yourself and this helps you learn a little bit more and reinforce uh, what you are learning.
In addition to that, if you're a group member, a group admin, you can assign quizzes to your coworkers. So we really like this. We think this is super powerful. Uh, so especially if you have junior employees or new employees and you want to make sure uh, that they know what they're doing or they understand what they're doing, you can create and assign uh, quizzes to them. It'll send out an email to them and say, hey, um, you know, your account admin or Bob uh, said you need to take this test. And then Joe has a week or whatever time you set to take the test and it returns. It'll show you, okay, what do they score? For instance, the status is complete. They scored an 81%. And then you can look at the results. For instance, you know, what did Brian get wrong on this quiz? In addition, you can start your own discussions. And we strongly encourage you to start your own discussions because there's a lot of value, obviously, for you as a member. Uh, and we like to hear what you're working on or what you need help with. Uh, in addition, on the lower left-hand corner, you'll notice this option to post without disclosing your name. So what happens here is it'll say undisclosed. We'll know who you are so we can check to make sure that everything is fine. Uh, but no one else will know um, that it's you. And so you can ask things that are sensitive. For instance, like maybe your employer doesn't want you to ask things or comment on the internet. Some people have social media policies. Or you might basically have a big project and you don't want people to know that it's yours, but you do want some technical help. So posting without disclosing your name is really helpful to do that. Uh, finally, one of the really big uh, recent additions to IPVM is our camera calculator. And there's a number of advanced functionalities that lets you design systems. Uh, and we're going to show you uh, live in a little bit uh, how to use the camera calculator for specifying cameras and selecting specific models. So now we're going to show you live a couple of things to really take advantage of IPVM. So first of all, you'll see twitter.com slash IPVideo. This is our Twitter feed. Uh, you'll notice that we post when we have new discussions, uh, when we have new quizzes, new articles, news, industry things, so on and so forth. So strongly recommend you follow us at IP Video. Twitter is certainly uh, valuable for many different, following many different types of people. So I'll scan over here and you'll see uh, we're following as is. Uh, let's see, this is a distributor, news feeds, trade magazines, manufacturers, organizations, so on and so forth. There's lots of information that you can get on Twitter if you want to see, you know, what's going on new for various people, personalities, companies within the industry. Um, it seems that most people in the industry don't use Twitter, but we would strongly recommend it if you care to see what's going on news. And of course, you can do it for things outside the industry, entertainment, news, politics, sports, etc. All right. So searching on every page of IPVM in the upper right hand corner. Uh, you'll have a search box. And so you can go here and type in, and I'll just do, for instance, elevator, uh, and it'll give you a list of different sort of uh, articles on elevators. And now I'll just go and return, and we'll basically have our advanced results. So you'll see there are 68 posts on elevators. You might say, like, listen, I want to see what's the newest article on elevators. We can go ahead and click here for, for newest, and it'll automatically resort for us, and it'll say, like, okay, there's this webinar that we talked about. Uh, just last month talking about elevator lobby egress. Uh, you can also filter down and say, you know what, I just want other people's opinions on elevators, so maybe I'll just go to discussions only. You could also do tests or articles, uh, but let's do discussions right now. Instead of 68 results, now we filter down to 42 results. Uh, finally, you can go for specific authors. So if you know someone on, on the IPVM team that in particular you want their opinion on, you can search for them as well. The other thing that you can do here is you can uh, edit your profile and there's a number of ways you can get uh, information from IPVM by doing that and that's going to be on the members page. You'll see a link to edit profile. Um, heading right to the bottom over here, you'll see these three options that I'm going to highlight for a moment. Uh, by default, everyone receives the IPVM newsletter uh, that gets sent out three times a week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. You can always obviously uncheck this easily here. Um, over a thousand people, uh, 1300 or so now at this point, uh, e also get emails for each new article. So as soon as basically we post an article, they get an email. So these are people who want to know, hey, what's going on immediately on IPVM? And then there's nearly a thousand people who get an email for each new discussion. Uh, and so you can uh, opt into those if you want to sort of um, know more or know immediately when IPVM uh, posts something. In addition, uh, if you like to comment, you can display your website URL. So you see here, I've got my website URL. You can put in your LinkedIn profile, your blog, your Twitter, you know, your company's um, website, so on and so forth. And you can click here to display a link to your URL when you comment. And over 400 people do that. 
Uh, and that's just a way that if you want people to learn more about you, like if you're an expert in video analytics or retail or something, they can click on your link and then contact you. All right, so here's the IPVM spider. This is the basis for a, a number of really interesting and important things that we do. So as it says here, we monitor over 130 company websites. Actually, we're now up to about 154 uh, and about 80,000 pages or whatever it might be. Um, we go through this multiple times per week, and what you'll see here is that you know these are basically new things. You'll see here some from trade magazines, some from manufacturers, mostly from manufacturers. So here are some things like Milestone is looking to hire a few people. Here's a new product page from Genetac. Uh, here's some trade magazines information. Here's a manufacturer's brochure. Here's a press release from an analytic company doubling their sales team, etc. cetera. Uh, and you can go to ipvm.com slash spider. Uh, in addition, we have some filtering options. So let's say, you know, you know what? I only want to know what Axis is doing. So I'm going to go over here and just, you know, there's over 1,900 results uh, that we have. And you can filter down just to Axis. And so now let's see basically, so these are only posts, there are 106 uh, of Axis's basically new pages on their website. And so you can scan through here, like these are new pages, basically product pages, customer stories, announcements, uh, different offerings they have, financial reports, PowerPoints, et cetera. And then, you know, for instance, you could click on it. Let's say I want to know about their financials. You can click on that and I can go ahead and open it. And now we're looking immediately uh, at Axis's financials report. And that was because it was added and we'll see here on July 11th. Um, so the spider is a great way to stay informed. If you want to get alerts from our spider, you can just go to our news preferences. So I'll show you back here on our uh, member side, it'll say manage news. If you click on manage news, you'll be sent to your update news preferences. So a couple of things you'll notice here on company alerts, you can just select whichever companies that you want. Like for instance, you want to track milestone, click, okay, now you're tracking milestone. You want to know more about Onvif, when Onvif does updates, boom, now you're on Onvif. And then what happens is uh, once a week, every Monday, 9 a.m. local time, uh, an email will be sent to you with whatever's new for any of these companies that you've selected. In addition, this is, if you think about it, if you ever use like Google Alerts, you can do custom alerts here. So you can say, for instance, like, I really care about um, locks, or you want to know more, or you want to basically, anytime there's something on mag locks, or how about 360 cameras? I mean, whatever you're interested in, uh, you might be concerned about like uh, facial recognition. So you could go in and type facial recognition, boom, anytime IPVM does a post or finds uh, information on the web about facial recognition, you're going to get an email Monday morning saying this is the new things on face rec. Um, so again, very powerful way. You have your options of company alerts, just specific manufacturers and organizations, or you can generate your own custom alerts. All right. We also offer quizzes. Uh, so these are quizzes. So this is an assortment of quizzes we have here. You'll see that there are 15 quizzes. Uh, you can go through these quizzes and you can take these quizzes. So we have quizzes on revenue. We have quizzes for integrators, salespeople, surveillance 101, new products, current events, camera calculation, imagers, so on and so forth. And you can just click on any of these and I'll click on this one here, for instance. Uh, and you can take the quiz to see like how much do I really know about door controllers and locks, so on and so forth. Uh, in addition, group members can assign quizzes to their coworkers. So this is really powerful. So you could go in here and say, you know what, I want to assign a quiz uh, to one of my employees and I'm just gonna go ahead and pick a quiz. I wanna see how much Ben knows, for instance, about uh, Tech Integrator. And I'm gonna send it out to him and I say, Ben, you need to return this to me uh, in, say by the end of the week, we'll give him five days. We'll click create assignment and Ben will get an email saying, hey, John has assigned you this quiz. Go ahead and take it. When it's done, we can see the results. We can see like, okay, Brian took this quiz and he got an 81%. And we can see the results specifically, what did Brian get wrong? And this can help basically uh, identify issues like, oh, you didn't know this. Um, you'll also notice that on our results, it gives you statistics so you can see how well you did. For instance, this uh, current events test was actually pretty tough. Uh, average score is really low, but you can see like how well you did, like which one, which questions did people have difficulties with? So like how much was exact required for? Uh, most people, right, uh, got this wrong. 52% got it wrong and you can see exactly where. And for your own team members, you can see what they got wrong. So scanning through here uh, and it looks like, okay, which one did you get wrong? 
Uh, Brian uh, chose 4K Ultra HD, where the answer here was HD65. Uh, and you can see uh, and track uh, how your coworkers are doing, and then you can help them and say, like, okay, this is what it is, or this is how it works, and you can see that we link to further explanation. So if you want to know more about like exactly what's acquired by who, you can click on this link here and it'll open up the related report about Tyco acquiring exact. All right, last few things. Uh, discussions. So you can post your own discussions, you can post your own comments. Uh, so you'll see here the start a new discussion. If you click in here, and I'm going to click in here, it will open it up and now I'm going to say start a new discussion. Let's, let's say like I need a, you know, I need help picking um, a dome camera. And then you can just, you know, whatever, you know, I'm looking for two megapixel, you know, uh, put, it in, put it in my uh, warehouse, uh, it's a big warehouse, whatever you want to say. Uh, you can go over here and create your discussion. One thing to keep in mind, you can post without disclosing your name. So this lets you post undisclosed. So this is very useful, you know, often end users don't want to basically let people know what they're working on. You might be a manufacturer and you don't want your uh, boss to know about it because you might have social media policies. You could be an integrator and you don't want your competitors to know that that's what you're working on and this will make it undisclosed so you can ask it but not have it tracked back to you. Uh, finally, uh, our IPVM uh, camera calculator, um, this is ipvm.com slash calculator, uh, is a really powerful tool to visualize and design your surveillance project and your camera choices. Um, there's a lot in it, but I'm going to just show you a couple of sort of neat things that you can do. If you look at this intersection here with your mouse, if you click down, you can drag it left and right, up and down, etc. Uh, and so this helps you visualize, like, okay, 100 degrees, I'm going to get this side of the intersection, that side of the intersection. Uh, you can zoom it in to see, like, okay, what does it look like at, say, a 70 degree field of view? You could also change scenes. Uh, we've got a number of scenes included, like for instance, uh, we could do a hallway, and now you can see, you know, what does 70 degrees look like in a hallway? And of course, you know, same thing here, you can make it larger, say like I'm gonna go to a 95 degrees. Uh, again, there's even more scenes, so we could go, for instance, to uh, our vehicle entrance. Vehicle entrance seems to be pretty popular, so you can do the same types of things. Um, you can drag and drop, or you can move, see this camera icon? Right now, our camera is 100 foot away from the target. I'm gonna drag this up, and you're gonna notice it's immediately gonna go in. So now, basically, I'm only at 43 feet, and it automatically changes the calculations. It'll know if the pixels per foot has changed, the width has changed, et cetera. And one thing you'll notice uh, on the bottom, this is 20 pixels per foot. Now, if I move this in, say I wanna get my camera closer, we're gonna notice that our pixels per foot is gonna go up, and so I'm gonna move this in. And now I've got the 68 pixels per foot if my camera's only 13 feet away. Uh, the other thing we can do, we're just we're dragging, moving the camera positioning. Let's say we're going to keep the camera in place, but we can narrow our field of view. I'm going to basically put my uh, mouse over these lines, right, which represents the angle of view. And then I'm going to drag this in. And now you can notice that basically I've got a narrower field of view, higher pixels per foot, uh, smaller viewing area, etc. Uh, finally, with the camera calculator, um, this is really useful. You can uh, members can select their own camera. So, for instance, like we'll go down over here. Let's say you're using Samsung. You can go and pick a Samsung camera. Say, you know what? I'm using the this model over here, uh, and you can select this camera. And so, the calculator knows exactly what the resolution of this model is, 1080p, and it knows that it's a fixed angle camera. It won't let you change the angle of view because this camera basically has a fixed uh, integrated lens and it shows you what exactly you'll get uh, with this camera model. And of course you can change it for uh, over 1,500 different camera models from DAWA, Axis, Vigilant, Panasonic, Pelco, so on and so forth. Uh, you can really pick uh, among sort of a huge array uh, of options. So that should help you get a better sense of how to use IPVM. Thank you.